Have you ever driven over a bridge surface and wondered, hey, how'd they make that? It's a pretty cool process, so let's check it out. We're here at the Georgia Street Bridge in Gary, Indiana, over 8094, which is just about a half mile away from I-65. INDOT crews are working with the contractor to replace the bridge deck here. On this project, we're using a hydro demolition machine, which uses water to break up the old concrete. Demolition is awesome. Once the old is removed, the new can be poured. This special truck mixes cement with small stones, latex, sand, and water, and it all spews out a pretty sticky mess. But that's okay because it's the perfect recipe for a brand new bridge deck. Now it's time to bring in the Bidwell Concrete Paver Machine, which churns through the thick mixture with an auger to level it out. Then, a roller smooths the surface before a third tool, called a float, gives it one final finishing touch to smooth it out. Then, workers use these giant rakes with long metal tines to scar the surface with grooves that will help with friction, ensuring your car grips the road. Once the bridge deck is poured and the surface is smooth, wet burlap is laid down for 24 hours to keep the moisture in as it cures and hardens. Then, the burlap is removed and the surface must remain dry for 72 more hours. After that, the deck is ready to roll. Well, now you know how a bridge deck is constructed. Go ahead, tell your friends. Pretend you're smart.